So it's Bali. This is the word of today, day four. Use this to mark your attendance. Okay, so let's go back to pivot table. So now that we have this kind of a table, and sometimes you would wish to know where is this uh, Robin Primary Health Center coming from? Okay. We have, because this, this must have a parent which is the district and that district has, belongs to a certain region, which a region is under the, the national level. So sometimes you would wish to have a report that clearly tells you the hierarchy, the entire hierarchy of the organization unit. How do you do that? Again, we go into options. Uh, remember we have this tab here, style. This is where you could display the organization unit hierarchy. So under label, you just have to tick that. We are by ticking display organization unit hierarchy. That means the table is going to give you all the parents of, of the health facility that is displayed in this table here. And this is important, especially uh, when you're giving out the data to people that probably they are not very much familiar of the organization unit hierarchy. So instead for them to struggle trying to link back where is this uh, facility coming from, you could just display the organization unit hierarchy and it will be easy to connect back where, where do this facility belongs to. But with, with the table, we could always add a title, okay? So that once you present the pivot table, at least it has a title that tells exactly what, what is being displayed in the table. So you could add a table title, which says, let's say HIV test font. Last five years. If you click update, then uh, our table now it's going to have to have a title. So apart from those, we also have other other functionalities that are available under the style style option. It could be uh, managing the density of what is being displayed or even the font size, as well as the digit group separator. So this is more or less to, to, to specify how do you want those thousands of data to be, to be displayed after every three digits, what would you want to be a separator in, in between? So by default, it's usually the space, but instead of a space, you could uh, select comma or even choose to have none. So by saying none, if you click update, you would see uh, the values are just closer to each other. But if I want a space uh, between all those thousands of data, I could select space. By doing so, you would see, okay, just after every three figures, I have a space. But sometimes I would wish to have commas instead of space. You could always select comma, then if you update, then you'd see your figures. You'll have a comma to separate thousands of values. So apart from that, we have this functionality of fixed column headers to top of the table or fixed uh, headers to, I mean, rows headers to left of the table. When do you get to use this? These are mostly used, especially when you have a very, very uh, huge amount of data displayed in table. Once you scroll that, you'd see uh, those headers, they, they disappear. So I'll just go back here and update uh, my organization unit. Instead of saying uh, facility in the bad district, I'll just pull facilities within the entire country. So you'd see this kind of table. If I scroll to check the data below, it would be difficult for me to reference back 
this 338 I'm looking at, what is this? Okay, because the headers here have disappeared. So if you want to freeze them, it's more or less like the way we freeze in the Excel. You come here under option, style, and say fix column headers because uh, the headers are in the column. So if I click update, that means I've moved here, you could see the headers of the columns have been freezed. So even if I scroll to the bottom of the table, I could still reference back the 5,025 figure that I'm looking at is for what? Is for the mail for the year 2018. So that, that applies to, to roles as well. If you have a very large amount of information, you could also freeze the rows. And if you scroll, they'll always uh, stick there and you would be able to move around the other information, but still be able to link back what exactly are you looking at. So the display dimension, I mean, organization unit hierarchy, we have also uh, looked at it, where it's more or less to open up the parent of the selected uh, organization unit. So that again, it's also easy to reference back where is that organization unit coming from. If it's a facility, what is the district uh, that has that facility? Same applies to the region all the way back to, to the mm. training land, which is the national level. So we have we have this kind of data, okay? and it's very huge. Sometimes my interest is only to look at the data that range from three thousand, let's say, to five thousand. Okay, but with the selections that I've just uh, done here, it, I mean, it'll give me the, the the data for all the facilities, but. I need all the facilities, yes, but my interest is only to look at the facilities that have the data starting from 3,000 to 5,000, okay? So how do I do that? Again, you can always go to the option. We have these limit values. This is where you get to define the range of values that you want to be displayed in a table. Of course, we always have the minimum value and the maximum value. And by saying 3,000 to 5,000, it means that I need all the facilities and for the HIV tests that have been done that have the value of 3,000 inclusive to 5,000 inclusive. If you want them to be not exclusive, again, you could always define it here. But, okay, so the minimum value should be 3,000. That means you need 3,000 moving forward, 3,000 and more. So I would say greater than or equal to. They normally, you get to define these ranges by using the normal mathematical operators. So since I need from 3,000 to 5,000, then it means it's the minimum value should be greater than or equal to, then here's where you get to capture or specify the figure. I said it's 3,000. So by just leaving it as it is, you would end up having beyond, even if you had 10,000. But I also need to put up a limit for the maximum value. So if it's the maximum value should be 5,000, what should be the operator? That means it's less than or equal to 5,000. Again, I'll specify the maximum value. And if I click update, then parameters will not change in terms of for units in terms of uh, period and everything else, but rather it's just gonna filter out and present the data that fall within that range only. So you'd find probably an organization unit no longer here. Maybe it's because it has data that don't qualify uh, in the specified range. So that is also you, how you could limit uh, the figures that are displayed in your pivot table. If you want to clear them, you could always go back to limit. And if you say clear maximum or minimum value and update, then 
it's going to get rid of uh, the ranges that we are set and retrieve back all the values that fall within the specified dimensions. Now we have seen how we can play around with these uh, different functionalities just to, to, to have a pivot table that actually meet our needs and have data that is very meaningful and easy to be interpreted or more or less to that data that can easily tell you what is happening. What if I want to have this, to use this information outside the system? You could always use the download functionality. And since it's a table, you could only download it in terms of Excel, CSV, which is more or less similar to Excel, but also HTML, mostly used by the techie people. But again, we also have this plain data source. At what point do you use this kind of uh, format? This is mostly used when you want to extract the information, but use it in other statistical statistical softwares like SPSS, R, or Stata. So we could always use uh, the download or extraction by using this plain data source. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that is how you could you could uh, freeze the rows, how you could limit uh, the range of values that are to be displayed in your table, and of course how you could show the hierarchies of of these uh, organization units that have been selected or displayed within the table. Now, using the table that we had created in a few minutes ago, let us go to that table then update the facilities by showing the hierarchy. We need to display the hierarchy and filter the values to display only values that range between 2,000 to 4,000. 